Okay, so uh, in a house of this age and you just want to update your electrical devices, all we need to do is take off the uh, improper uh, copper rated devices and we have our Kolar switch which is appropriate for aluminum wire. So we've removed all the old devices and uh, we just take our aluminum wire, strip it back and we just put the Kolar switch right on the wire just like we would with anything else. And this is perfectly uh, acceptable for use with aluminum wire. There you go, you have a brand new switch. Okay, so uh, just putting a Kolar switch on is our option one. Option two is uh, adding copper tails and uh, making sure that we're using appropriate uh, loaded morets or aluminum rated morets uh, so that we can add a copper wire to the aluminum and that way we can uh, go ahead and use our, our new Decora style switches which a lot of people are preferring nowadays but they are not rated for aluminum wire. So I'm just going to uh, take my aluminum wire, which I've already stripped, add a copper wire to it, and I'm just going to uh, twist the two wires together, making sure that I do not over twist the aluminum because aluminum uh, as a metal is fairly soft. So if you uh, twist it too tight, it'll break right off and uh, things will not work. So I'm taking my uh, aluminum rated loaded morets and uh, the reason we call them loaded is because uh, inside of them is a uh, an antioxidant paste which uh, keeps the wires from corroding because we have dissimilar metals in contact with each other and uh, I can just show you here I've got it twisted on I'll just twist it off and uh, as you can see both wires are now covered in this paste so uh, once the connection is done there's no chance of those wires ever uh, corroding and possibly going bad. Okay, so we now are just left with uh, two copper wires. Just gonna go ahead and strip those back and put our copper rated switch on. That's it. Looks fairly similar to uh, the first switch we did. However, now instead of having just the two connections uh, at the switch, we now have the two standard connections and we also have two moretted connections. So the downside to doing uh, this option is um, uh, I, I twisted my wires together so that those joints can't go bad. If, uh, if another person just places the wires side by side and twists the moret on, there is a chance of this joint possibly going bad and uh, things not working in the future. Okay, so we have our uh, Kolar switch here, which is just an uh, aluminum rated switch straight on the aluminum wires. We have our copper rated switch, which I've uh, added a copper tail to using appropriate aluminum rated morets. Now I'm going to show you how uh, we prefer to deal with aluminum wiring and that's using our uh, Coplum connectors. And this is using a crimped connector, again adding a copper tail, however the joint I'm about to make is permanent and there's no way it's going to go bad. Okay, so I have the actual uh, connector here. I'm just going to load it into the crimping tool. Take my copper wire and my aluminum wire.
Done. One uh, permanent connection that will not go bad. And I'm just going to do that again with the other wire. This wire is a little more difficult just because it uh, was so short to begin with. That's it. So now what we have to do with these connectors is because they are made of metal, um, once the power is turned back on, these connectors are live. So we have to place a uh, insulating uh, an insulating wrap around each one before we can go ahead and uh, finish the box. So this is the wrap. You just stick it right on there. We use our heat gun, heat it up. It shrinks around the connector and it's perfectly safe. And one final touch because the end is open. Give it a pinch, wait just a couple of seconds, and let go. Completely sealed and safe. Okay, so the connections are done. And now we can just go ahead and uh, place our switch on just like we would with copper wiring. Okay, there you go. There's your three options with dealing with aluminum wiring. Now, um, as I mentioned before, this method does still add that extra joint. However, it is a permanent connection. It's not going to go bad like there is a chance with, uh, with using morettes and adding your copper tail. Um, now, in terms of uh, cost-wise, um, these, do, these two options do obviously add an, an extra little bit into the labor. However, uh, this the quicker way uh, really offsets that because the actual Kolar rated switch is at least three times, as, uh, three times the price as your standard copper switch. And it's just because these are not uh, made in as much abundance as copper because copper is the uh, standard way of wiring nowadays.